I won't disturb you any longer, Mrs. Lewis. I'll just have a quick word with your husband before I leave, okay? Would you like some coffee? No, please, thank you. So now you see how it is. It's hard for her to be in bed all day long. She was always on the go, before the stroke, you know. Well, it can't be easy for you either. How are you coping? Oh, I'm all right. It must get frustrating sometimes. I'd do anything for her. I just wish I could do things better. She's so determined to do everything for herself. Like going to the bathroom. I keep telling her she's got to wait until I come to help her. But no, she's got to try. She fell last week. I warned her. Yes, um, the home support worker mentioned some bruising. Yes. She bruises easily. I guess I lost my temper. I told her I was coming as soon as I took the casserole out. I can't do everything myself. And she wouldn't wait. I hurt my back picking her up. And I guess I was a little rough with her. But it won't happen again. I promise it won't happen again. She means the whole world to me. You must see that. I'll see if we can arrange for home health services to come in more often. Okay. And please, just call me if things are getting too stressful. Yes. I thank you, I will. Good. You take care of yourself too now, all right? All right. You stupid bitch! You told on me, didn't you? Now we've got Miss Government busybody nosing around here. But I fixed it. We know who the problem is, don't we? Don't we? It's you, right? While violence against women has been accepted as a serious issue for some time, violence and abuse against older women is often regarded simply as elder abuse. The term elder abuse is gender neutral, which obscures the fact that two thirds of the victims are women. It denies the realities of power and control issues in intimate relationships. And it obscures the fact that domestic violence in later life is most often the continuation of long-term spousal abuse. Where the hell's my dinner? It's, it's just over there. It's almost over there. Why is it over there? It should be on the damn table. Where it should be. When I come home from work, I want it on the table. Okay, I almost. No, my brother was all these years. Why are you crying? Huh? Why are you crying? Please what? Please what? Huh? Please what? I wouldn't have to hit you, you stupid cow. If you'd only learned to do what you were told. Sanji is a widow. When her husband died in Pakistan, her son begged her to immigrate to Canada to live with him, his wife, and children. Two years later, her life is torture. Despite all her work cleaning, cooking, and caring for the children, her son and his wife are constantly shouting that she's a drain on their family and criticizing all she does. Sanji doesn't know where to turn. She speaks no English and is terrified her son, her sponsor, will have her deported. This was to be Janet's retirement home, but when her son-in-law was laid off, her daughter suggested they build an addition to the house and all live together to save money. Yeah, we could. Okay, really. Well, it's just getting a bit too much. She demands too much. Okay. And the two of you. After one year, the addition is still not begun. Janet is confined to a tiny room and pays for all the food and utilities for them all. Unable to drive herself, she is isolated and dependent on her daughter. She is increasingly frightened by her situation. 
Sue, did you take my jade necklace? Are you accusing me? Oh, no, no, dear. No, uh, I just can't find it anywhere. And I won wondered if you... We have bills to pay, you know. Sue! Your father gave me that? How could you? For God's sakes, Mother, give it a rest. What's up, Sue? Is she complaining again? I have just about had enough of you. Emotional or psychological abuse attacks the older woman's feelings of self-worth. It does not leave physical scars, but its effects, especially over time, are devastating. Again! You make wrong order again! How many times I told you? How many times? You are stupid. You are no use to me. And ugly, stupid old woman who cannot do anything right. You agree? Say it. I'm stupid. Again. I'm stupid old woman. My daughter and her husband and the twins. Even close friends often fail to recognize Isn't symptoms of abuse. You know, it's wonderful, Lil, that they're going to let you go home for a bit between the treatments, and you're lucky. You've got your gym to care for you. <laughs> Mind you, even if my Joe was still alive, <laughs> he was never much good in this. I'd really rather stay here, Helen. Oh, sweetie. You just don't want to be any trouble to anyone, do you? She's never any oh, trouble, is she, Oh, no, Jim? not my Lil. Hey, Doc says I could take you home tomorrow, darling. Good news, eh? I don't want to go. Please. Sweetheart, shh. Everything's going to be fine. You'll see. Oh, Helen, Helen. Jim, how are you doing? Oh, OK, OK. It was a lovely funeral. Yes, thank you. I, I know she'd have been pleased. She would. I was so... Uh, Wondering whether you'd like some well, cooked food. Well, that's very nice of you. Um, come in, will you? Oh, do come in. Thank you. Come in. Sexual abuse is any kind of sexual interaction without the woman's full knowledge and consent. The possibility of sexual abuse of seniors is rarely considered because of age except perhaps in the case of confused and vulnerable seniors in residential settings. Handle with care. Yet sexual abuse can also happen to competent older women, the abuser, a spouse, a family member, or trusted friend. Henderson. It's urgent. Hey, what's wrong with you? My Lil never complained. She kept me happy till the day she died. Oh, go on. Get out of here, you miserable old, dried up old goat. Even when older women victims are willing to seek help, there are many barriers to their ability to do so. Geographical isolation and lack of transportation. For many older First Nations women, living within a very small community compounds geographical isolation while a lifetime of abuse has often isolated them psychologically from any hope of change or relief. Isolation through language and culture.
economic barriers. Age reduces the opportunity for employment. An older woman may be totally dependent on her husband's income or pension. She may never have handled the family finances, and older immigrant women may have no access to Canada pension. The impact of leaving a relationship in later life can have repercussions that are not so relevant for younger women. They have invested a lifetime of care into their home and their precious mementos and treasures. A beloved pet may have provided the only solace and cannot be abandoned. While transition houses provide a refuge for younger women, they are often less suitable for the older woman. You can't get me! Yes, I can! You know you can't! You can't get me! I am Ria. How would you like to come and sit somewhere more quiet? I'd love to. There is an urgent need for more training around the aging process, the provision of quiet areas and shelters, and the employment of staff or volunteers of an age who can better relate to the needs of the older woman. Chronic disease or disability. Older women who need assistance in their daily care often fear being placed in an institution. Tolerating abuse by their spouse may seem to be the lesser evil. You want to pee? You'll have to wait. I'm busy. Support workers and community care workers need to discern the difference between the inevitable stress in caring for an invalid and actual abuse. Hi. Hi. What did you find out? I think it's most likely normal caregiver stress. He seems very devoted to her. Well, I did some digging. You did? Mm-hmm. In the 80s, he was charged with spousal assault. No. Uh-huh. Naturally, she dropped the charges. Maybe I'll just pay another visit after lunch. That's a good idea. You had to pee, didn't you? You had to go and do it on your own. You couldn't wait for me. I told you, told you, told you! Piece of filth, you! I've told you so often! 